10 is actually the least uh, the smallest score possible on this scale. So I would click on scale tab and add 10 and replace it with 10 and close. But arguably it doesn't look as nice. So some people manipulate their scale so that it will look as nice as possible. If I include the maximum as 100, this is what it would look like. It would push it. Now I want to increase my scale increments to 10 rather than 20. And that changes, that adds the number of scale. Now I'm going to do the same thing for my y-axis. Change that to 12. I could change the font as well. It's sans serif. I could change that to whatever I wanted to. And that's from 0 to 100. Now let's say again 10 is the lowest score possible. Now one little tip uh, that sometimes aggravates people in terms of what's happening in their chart is that there's a space here. 10 is the lowest score. Now suppose it was 0. Now if you put 0 as the lowest possible score, it actually doesn't change the amount of space between the x-axis and the y-axis. So there's a space here. What if you want to get rid of that? 0 is the lowest. Well, if you double click on the scale, it's this here, lower margin 5%. You actually have to click 0 and then it'll push it to zero. And the same thing goes for this. Let's say I'll, this was actually zero, and I didn't want a space either, so that I have my uh, origin exactly at zero for both. So that goes from zero to 100, and that goes from zero to 100. My scale increments, though, are not 20. I want to change them to 10. Scale, 10, apply, and close. And this is what the uh, scatter plot looks like, 0 to 100. Um, and I've got socioeconomic status on my x-axis, educational attainment on my, my y-axis. Now, arguably, that's how you would have to put your scatter plot if, in fact, zero, uh, 0 to 100 are possible scores. But people sometimes want to manipulate their s charts to make them look best. And it looks like, in this case, if I change my scale from 10 to 80, it'll look even better. 10, even though it's questionable whether I should be doing that because it's, uh, I'm trying to accentuate the effect in the data. 10 to 80. And so arguably I've made it look a bit more pronounced. Uh, by having uh, 0 to 10, uh, going from 10 to, actually, you know, I can even push that down to 20. Scale, 20. Apply. I didn't close my margin. I've still got a margin here. And I could close that gap if I wanted to. So this is how the scatter plot looks like when I'm really lo up close looking at it. Um, anyway, this is how to create scatter plots in SPSS, make them a bit prettier, changing the uh, font, font size, um, and uh, getting rid of the margins, uh, I think is a good tip. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. That's how you make scatter plots, linear ones. There is a way of making nonlinear scatter plots as well, and I'll probably do that in another video. Thanks for watching.